Good Monday morning! Today we are continuing our journey of unit testing in JavaScript. You can check out the full episode series playlist here. Let's get going. I am MPJ and you are watching Fun Fun Function. <laughs> We're going to do two things. We're going to start by removing some duplication that we have, have created in, uh, in our previous episodes. And then we are going to continue by uh, refactoring our code to, instead of using our uh, custom made uh, mock functions, we're going to use uh, the mock uh, function library that is built into Jest. Let's begin by jumping into uh, order total here. The duplication that I'm referring to is this here. Uh, this, this here is exactly the same code as this here. One great thing with uh, unit testing or TDD is the, the cycle, the methodology that you get from it. Uh, I talked a little bit before about the nice red, green, red, green, red, green cycle that we get where we just, oh, a test is red, mm, that's nasty. Let's unbreak it, it becomes green and it gives you this constant sense of progression. But what I've neglected is that it's not actually two steps in the red, green uh, cycle. It's actually red, green refactor. So you write a test that is red, it's broken because the code that you want doesn't exist yet. You write the code, it gets green, and then, and only then, you, uh, you refactor it. Because now when you have a test or test suite that is green, you can safely, um, safely refactor things, uh, knowing that the tests, all the tests are running and are verifying that your code works as expected, even though you've refactored it. By the way, if you're not familiar with the term refactoring, it means changing stuff around. So perhaps we just make some kind of const some order items uh, and we just copy this thing here. Uh, make this a function that takes an order. Um, and then um, paste this in here, call that order. Is that okay? It still works. Then I just do this some order items, uh, paste the uh, ordering there. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was easy. That was too easy. Let's just. I have to break this and see if yeah it actually that's it it actually that actually was that easy okay that was actually so easy that I want to uh, dwell on it for a bit because something amazing happened there uh, I just <laughs> randomly shoved things around in a function uh, and I had five tests five test cases that just checked that everything worked while I was refactoring it and. Uh, we are now safe. It's that this is why you do unit testing so that you can do refactoring safely and easily. Next up, uh, we are going to start playing around with the mock functions that are built into Jest. And as you see here, uh, we've built our own fake fetch here and we have also created our own fake process. I think that we're, the fake process is so simple that we're probably gonna leave that be, but the fake fetch might benefit a little bit from uh, uh, using uh, the mock functions in, in Jest, or at least uh, it won't hurt them and we will learn how the mock function in Jest works. Let's go to Google and go just mock functions to find the documentation. Mock functions, just Facebook code. Blue. Oh, this is how you do it. You do just.fn for function. So 
let's actually try to start doing this. I'm going to grab this down a little bit. And do, 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 const fake fetch two. Uh, and just do yes dot 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 fn. But the dogs, how does this work? Blue, 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 blue. Okay, uh, it's mock return value. And we wanted to return this thing here. I'm going to copy that, paste it in. Uh, and I'm going to paste in the fake fetch here and see what happens. Okay, it seems like it's, it, uh, it's still green. That's good. Let me minimize this. And um, here, we're going to, instead of checking this as the fake fetch is called, um, we're going to, with, um, with Jest, we're going to inspect afterwards that the function call them with the um, uh, with the correct arguments. All arguments. And do, 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 do. Uh, hang on. So it's expect mock fun to be called. It's not quite to be called with. To be called with. So let's actually then I need to expand this a little bit. Uh, we're going to expect fake fetch to to be called with, is that it? No, it's like that. Uh, expect fake fetch to to be called with, uh, I guess the Earl here, first of all, hop, there we go like that. Did that work? No. Uh, expected mock function to have been called with undefined as argument to what it was called with headers API. Okay, so it actually wants the exact uh, signature. That's fine. So, uh, you know what, I'm actually just gonna copy that because we know that this is correct because we are refactoring a working test. So I'm just gonna paste that in here like that. And we have a passing test. Uh, let me just fix some a little bit of indentation here, a little bit of spacing. I'm gonna leave it like that. I, I'm cool with that. Uh, and we can now remove the actually we can now remove the entire fake fetch here because it's no longer being used. Uh, and I can rename fake fetch two to fake fetch, Blip. and it's still working. One really cool thing here is that we, when we have this, when we were factoring tests and we know that code is working, we can, we can actually use the working code as a test for our test refactoring. It's kind of like this funky dual relationship. That is why we, I, I, I thought it was really cool when we just could copy this from the failing uh, failing test message because we knew that what the what the code was doing was correct. That is cool, but I'm skeptical about another thing, which is this entire uh, the just mock functions. Like, why are we why are we using these? Are they actually giving us much benefit? Mm, I would say not so much in this case. I would I would say that this. Uh, this didn't really turn out shorter than our previous example. Uh, it just, uh, it is pretty much the same. Uh, however, it still has the benefit of uh, being a standard way of doing uh, mock functions. Because what we just did there, uh, that was just our personal style. And if we were just a team of developers that were inventing these things as we went along, then every uh, every test of every model, module would probably look a little bit different. A uh, big advantage with using something like Jest is that uh, someone familiar with Jest will see that, okay, the mocks look like this and they don't need to relearn the implementation every time. That's pretty nice. 
and there's also we, we made use here of mock return value which is the most basic uh, basic mock thingy thingy uh, but there are more complicated mocking cases for instance we can use mock implementation once to have the function return something just on the first call and then you call mock implementation once uh, and it will return another value on the second call and these things are like a little bit more uh, verbose to implement yourself it's not super complicated you have to like create an int and then increment that so that it returns that on, on other calls it's not rocket surgery but this will be a lot uh, shorter still than that implementation so whenever you make a, a mocking that is slightly more uh, slightly more complicated uh, then you 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 can get some benefit by by using jest as well like from from a just a terseness standpoint let me commit that uh, boom uh, and uh, we're gonna call that hmm what are we gonna call that uh, what did we even do let me check the diff we um, Oh yeah, we refactored this to use the uh, just mock functions. Refactored to use just mock functions. And there we go. And that is it for today. If you have any questions or confusions or like, what is this? Or suggestions on what you want to see next in this series, post a comment down below. Uh, or if you're a patron, you can check out uh, the dedicated discussion uh, topic for this episode on the Fun Fun Forum. There's a link in the episode description. Do not be a stranger. And that is it. You have just watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. I release these every Monday morning, 0800 GMT. If you are watching from the future, you can check out next week's episode here. Uh, or if you're watching from the present, you can subscribe here so that you don't miss that episode. You can also turn on notifications in the YouTube app. I am MPJ. Until next Monday morning, stay curious.